Hello, we're Biscuiteers, the original hand iced biscuit company, and each year we ice around 3 million biscuits by hand, and today we'll be showing you how to ice our DIY snowmen, the perfect addition to any Christmas table. If you want to learn the basics of becoming a master icer before starting this video, head to our YouTube channel, where you can find out how to make and use flood icing, line icing, and how to bake our biscuits. To follow along, you'll need our DIY snowmen kit. Inside the tin, you will find all of the equipment that you need to decorate your snowman biscuits. You will also have some instructions, decorations, piping bags, sugar icing, and 12 snowman biscuits. First things first, we need to make our icing. Put the icing sugar in a bowl and stir a couple of spoonfuls of water until the icing is quite thick, like toothpaste. Split the icing in two, putting a spoonful to one side. When you're happy with the consistency, open your bag and fold the bag down over your hand and spoon in the mixture. We want the bag to be about half full. You then need to take your bag, push the icing down into the closed end to get rid of any of the air pockets and tie a knot in the open end of it. Trim a small amount off the tip of the bag, ready for piping, and then trim the seam edge. This makes icing a lot easier. Put pressure on the end of the piping bag so that a small amount of icing comes out of the tip and then pinch the tip again to create a clean tip. Your piping bag is now ready to use. Take the remaining icing and stir a couple more spoonfuls of water into it. This will make the icing thinner and it will be used as our flood icing. Once you're happy with the consistency, take your piping bag and fold it over one hand and pour the icing in. Then tie a knot in the end of it. If you want to colour your icing before adding it to the piping bag, stir a tiny amount of food colouring, no more than the tip of a teaspoon. We've used the colours white, silver grey and dark grey. The paste provided in the tin makes both light and dark grey. Just add more colouring to create the darker shade. We will demonstrate some of our top tips and techniques, but you can pipe whatever design you like onto your snowman. Let's start with our first design. Of course, every snowman needs a top hat, so we start with this. Trace around the edge of the top half of the biscuit with your silver grey line icing. You can easily see where his hat is meant to sit from the shape of the biscuit. Next, we ice his body. Take your white line icing and pipe around his body. All you need to do is follow the edge of the biscuit. We then need to fill both of these shapes in with our flood icing. That's the runnier of the two icings, like so. Let this dry before adding any details. We dry ours in an oven at 50 degrees Celsius for around 30 minutes. This doesn't bake the biscuits, it just dries the icing so that we can pipe onto it. Now it's time for the fun bit, to decorate. We take our white line icing and pipe a scarf onto him. To do this, simply zigzag your piping bag back and forth to create this texture, like we do here. We then want to add some more texture to his scarf by adding bubbles. For this, we dip the wet line icing into a shallow bowl of decorations so that they can stick onto the icing. Now it's time to add his face. 
we pipe two small dark grey dots for his eyes and then add a little smile for his mouth. You can of course give him any facial expression that you'd like, but we like to think of him as a smiley snowman. Then with the dark grey line icing again, you pipe his buttons. These should be just bigger than his eyes. Of course we can't forget his nose, so with our silver grey line icing, we pipe a circle and then at the last moment we swish the piping bag back across so that it looks like a carrot. You can always practice this motion on a piece of baking parchment beforehand if you would like. We then give him the rim to his hat by piping a line across the two connecting flood icings and then two other lines in the middle of the hat just to add a seam. We lightly fill this in with our line icing by just creating a thicker line in between the two. We add some decorations to this line with our sprinkles. You can choose any colours you like. And there we have it, your first snowman has come to life. On to our next snowman. Like before, we trace his body and hat and then fill them in. Don't forget to let them dry before you add any details. We trace the outline of his face in white line icing and then add three large dots of line icing where his buttons will go. We added some of the larger sprinkles on top of these dots so that he has fancy buttons. We then add some detail to his hat in our silver grey line icing by just drawing a line across the rim of it. Next, we add his face as we did before in our dark grey line icing as well as two arms. For this, we just draw a straight line down each side of his body and then add two smaller lines coming off that original line. These make it look like he has stick arms. We then drew two lines across the seam of the hat and filled it in with our zigzag technique. Now, this might be a little trickier, but we pipe two small leaves off of this line. To do this, start right by the line icing and quickly zigzag up and tail off at the end so that it creates a leaf shape. Remember that you can always practice beforehand. We then added a few colourful sprinkles but you can always leave yours blank if you would prefer. Lastly, we piped a small dot in our white line icing on the middle of the snowman's face and added a colourful decoration for his nose. We chose an orangey red to mimic a carrot but it's completely up to you. On to our last snowman. Like before, we pipe the outline of his body in white line icing, but this time we don't pipe his hat. Simply fill in his body with flood icing and let this dry. For his hat, we are doing something special. We wanted to create a bobbly looking hat and scarf. So to do this, we take our dark grey line icing and zigzag the piping bag to add some texture. Simply move the piping bag up and down in small movements to create this texture. If you want to practice beforehand on a piece of baking parchment, then please do. And if it goes wrong, 
don't panic. A bobbly texture is an abstract texture, so there's no need to get it perfect. To match his hat, we added a textured scarf. We use the same technique as we did before, just zigzagging down the body. Make sure the zigzag is in the direction of his scarf would naturally fall in, and this way it looks a little bit more real. We then added his buttons in the same colour line icing, as well as his eyes and mouth. We sprinkled a few colourful decorations onto his scarf and hat, as well as adding colourful decoration for his nose, like we did before. And there we go, your last snowman is done. Now it's your turn to create a fun snowman at home. Don't forget, it's important to decorate the snowman onto a flat surface so that the snowman can dry evenly. You don't have to copy any of our designs, simply use them as inspiration. And if you do decide to make your own design or make any of ours, please tag us as we would love to see. Simply use the handle at BiscuitiersLTD or use the hashtag BiscuitiersMagic. If you tag us using the hashtag BiscuitiersMagic, then you can win a free tin of biscuits. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we hope that you have a very Merry Christmas.